January 5th is National Bird Day. Because we have always had a special place in our hearts for birds, on January 5th we observe National Bird Day in their honor. Although birds are wonderful, they also make up a sizable animal species that are particularly vulnerable. And the expression, canary in the coal mine, was given its name because birds serve as environmental health indicators for our world. It's critical now more than ever to increase public understanding of the needs of birds because so many bird species are threatened by the illegal pet trade, illness, and habitat destruction. Numerous species survival depends on it. National Bird Day's History Birds have always maintained a special place of intrigue, affection, and adoration in our hearts, whether they are the star cardinal in your backyard or the common pigeons that fly back and forth in the park. Watching an eagle soar can evoke a certain kind of wonder that is indescribable. Unfortunately, due to habitat loss or the illicit pet trade, the majority of birds are either endangered or protected. To raise awareness of the struggles and plight of these significant animals and how we may start the change necessary to create a healthier, more sustainable connection with them, the Avian Welfare Coalition established National Bird Day. Because they are the closest surviving relatives of the dinosaurs, birds are frequently regarded as historical relics. They frequently serve as the ecosystem's keystone species and are indicators of their health and vigor. For instance, a wide range of different creatures frequently uses the holes that woodpeckers leave behind as dwellings. That means all the creatures reliant on woodpeckers' pecking abilities would perish if they ran out of a food source or the correct kinds of trees. Despite the fact that National Bird Day was first established in 2002, the challenges that birds have faced are not new to the animal kingdom. Just ask the Labrador duck, the dodo, or the passenger pigeon, which was revered by many Native American tribes and frequently the subject of American art before it was exterminated. Traditions for National Bird Day Read a book by Audubon. John James Audubon's The Birds of America, which is both a fundamental work of scientific knowledge and a piece of art, is both. Create a birdhouse. Like all other animals, birds require homes. Humans must build birdhouses to replace even a small portion of the habitat that is being lost every day as we continue to clear vast areas of the planet's surface for development. Make some bird food. Seeds, nuts, and grapes in half. Birds would adore you if you had any trail mix that you no longer wanted. If you have hens, you can actually feed them almost any food, including leftovers from meals, and they'll eat it happily, had to. Actions for National Bird Day 1. Look at several birds. This is the perfect time to brush up on your bird knowledge and consider the significance of birds in our lives, whether you choose to read a birding book like The Sibley Guide to Birds, a memoir like H is for Hawk or even a book with birds in the title like Maya Angelou's, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. 2. Observe Some Birds More Americans watch birds than play baseball and American football combined, according to the U.S. Census. You'll find a massive new interest and a ton of contented people who can help you understand your place in this fragile world if you join the calm ranks of the nation's birdwatchers. What a justification for taking up a new activity. 3. Get a bird. Why not adopt a rescued bird instead of purchasing one from a breeder and contribute to solving the issues that birds in the U.S. are dealing with? National Bird Day is a chance for everyone to learn about the requirements for caged birds, such as consistent access to water and light and clean air. And to think about how our actions are affecting the chances of birds in the larger world. 5 Fascinating Facts About Birds 1. 1. No teeth. Birds of any kind lack teeth. 2. Birds are adept communicators. Birds may communicate effectively by chirping and singing. 3. The reason for the chirping and singing of birds. Birds sing and chirp in order to attract a partner, among other things. 4. A flock of birds. A flock is a collection of birds. The largest eyes of any land mammal are seen in ostriches. 5. You have such large eyes. Why we love National Bird Day. 1. Because birds are so much more than just starlings and sparrows, we adore National Bird Day. There are 9,800 different species of birds, 
and while it's doubtful that you'll see an emu or an ostrich in suburban America, it doesn't mean that with a little time and patience, you won't have some amazing birding experiences. The 850 bird species that live in the United States are among the many different bird species that are honored on National Bird Day. Yes, they all have a beak, two wings, and feathers. But after that, there are notable differences. 2. Because birds are under threat. The annual Christmas bird count, the largest citizen science survey in the world that keeps track of America's wild birds, is time to coincide with National Bird Day since birds are endangered. We can determine the number of birds in an area by counting all of the ones we can see. On January 5th, birdwatchers shift their attention to the country's millions of confined birds and their welfare. 3. Owing to the special position that birds hold in our hearts. Birds are everywhere in our culture and inspire us to reflect and be inspired, from the myth of Icarus to Big Bird and Roadrunner, from Prince's song, When Doves Cry, to Monty Python's Dead Parrot Sketch, from that song they always play on Family Guy, Bird is the Word, to the wisdom of owls and all the partridges in pear trees in the world. Flight can be used as a metaphor for ambition, arrogance, and the inevitable landing. Birds force us to consider our place in the universe. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Have a great day.